Nazi bar cat. called glider planes on the weekends in particular glider planes in this area plus so-called hang gliders coming down usually eight ten at a time they take them up by plane and then they jump out and they arrive here in the fields on the right hand side mainly apparently the wind local pasta paper that Harl V. Davidson is going to call, take over Harley, the Harley company, will take over or negotiations have started to take over Volkswagen group of companies the Dieselgate company Volkswagen This is still there. Yeah, yeah. This is
planes here on the right hand side, uh, quite a few planes at least, from what I see from here, seven, eight or more planes on the right hand side. So here they take them up by plane, the hang gliders, and uh, contrary to that, in the Alps, the French, the Italian, German, and Swiss, and Austrian Alps, they just drive them up to the highest peak, and from there they jump and come down over here. That's taken care of by plane. of the town here, Bri Bram, on the right hand side, outside, just outside of Bri Bram, that's where Antonin Dvorak, the most famous of all the Czech composers, was born. Of course, another big name is Gustav alongside this road, beginning of November, trying to protect this road from all the snow being blown onto the road. They collect them again, naturally, according to the weather, beginning of March, and then simply have to go get to the next roundabout and to the construction site. There is being a new road constructed and then it, the traffic will flow again normally. At least that's how it was the way when we came up. The field that you see here on the left hand side, that is not in bloom any longer, otherwise you would recognize it, canola, grape seed, where they make biogas out of. Usually when they grow it, they make canola cooking oil out of it, but since it's subsidized by the European Union government, nowadays most farmers prefer to raise it in order to make biogas, we process it into bio. Europe and, and, this is important for you, and in the US, in particular in Florida, you might be seeing the same blue sign.
deer on the left hand side here. Very, very popular. You see them all over fenced in. We simply have to go as far as the mining tower, then everything will be easier for our driver, Karl Heinz here. The salt came on barges in the Alpine area in Europe, the Austrian Alps, the uh, Bavarian Alps. To this very day, they still have salt. Your speaker cut off. It's cut off. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry, there's something wrong here because the switch is on. Hans already taped it a bit, so I guess that's the problem. I'll try to make sure. Please tell me immediately when it's off again. So I was telling you about the road carrying the name Golden Trail. Loaded on horseback, and the horses trotted along this very road that we are taking up to the city of Prague. Salt was considered the white gold in the Middle Ages, 14-1500s. It was used as a preservative for the road here. So historians tell us during the course of one week about a thousand. So it really was a commercial stretch of road hill here on the right hand side. So Golden Trail is the name of this road. And by the way, every 10 years, takes place a so-called re-enactment. The sumptuous come along dressed in the costumes of the time. The horses have sacks, have sacks on their backs. And of course, in the Middle Ages, the horses didn't go back empty. They took along whatever was growing here at the time, like spelt was a very popular grain already in the Middle Ages. Then there were furs, honey, and etc., etc. So the horses definitely didn't go back empty all the way into the Posa area. He left the bottleneck behind, hopefully. Also dann die Umrufe, dann die Umrufe sitzen. Nein, 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 nein. 
nicht. Nein, nein, die müssen das sauber machen. Ah, das so, ah, so, ja. Wir fahren in die Lindau. Um 11 Uhr werden wir, ja. Wir machen wir jetzt zusammen. Ja, ja, natürlich. Das haben wir auch schon geguckt. Ja, natürlich. in Germany, we are taking you to Germany, Hossa is in Germany, Germany after the accident in Fukushima, Japan five years ago decided to close down all its nuclear reactors, nine have been closed down already, eight are to follow successively, by the year 2022 none should be active any longer. Germany, the only country in the world that is closing down its nuclear power plants. Which of course poses a tremendous problem for the, an industrial nation like Germany, third largest export nation in the world, first China, then the United States, then Germany, where to get the energy to supply to the industry in Germany. Big, big problem. First problem, the second problem, where to bury the nuclear waste, the burned out elements. None of the 16 German states wants them on their soil. So everybody says, put it in the next state. A real, real problem has developed in Germany concerning the nuclear power plants, the reactors. More of the so-called snow fences on the right-hand side of our road here. chestnut trees, young chestnut trees.